This will be the fifth take of this. What is going on guys? Benny here. I am finally back from hiatus. If you've wondered where I've been, um, my house has been kind of under construction, so I haven't really had any place to record or do any reviews at all. Um, I did put a short up a little while ago. It was about a um, some product that was coming out on Apos Audio. Um, but with that, uh, we are back with this lovely piece here. If you guys don't know what this is, um, I this is the Burson Audio Conductor 3X Performance. So with that, I'll put up a link here, up here, um, to my previous review of it, which is the full review of this guy as it comes to you from Burson Audio. Um, so there were some changes since then, but yeah, let's get into it after the intro. All right, guys, so we are back. I am back. Um, so I still have this guy. And why do I still have this guy? Um, the biggest reason is because I contacted Burson Audio and I did see that you are able to switch out the op amps in this guy for the output stage. Um, so with that, um, the way it comes from the factory, it comes with four Vivid V6 dual op amps and you can get different op amps from them. Um, so I did have them send me two V6 classic op amps. So in this guy right now, the way I've been listening to it for the past couple months is I put in the two V6 classic ones and I left two of the Vivid um, op amps in there. And what did that do? Well, let's kind of go back to how I listen to things. Um, this guy comes with an ESS Saber DAC. And to me, with most ESS Saber DACs, um, they, to my ears, to me specifically, um, they've always been a little bit harsh up top. And that's just, even with like a lot of the implementations that I've heard, it does all come down to the implementation and how the companies um, use it inside their product. But when it comes to Sabre Dax, they've always been harsh up top because they try to go for that sparkly, very high resolution sound in the higher frequencies. Um, so what ended up happening when I did put the other V6 classics in here and mixed with the v Vivid, V6 Vivid op amps, what it ended up doing, it did very magical things. So when it came to it, it, it tuned it to exactly how I love to listen to my music. So what did it do? Um, basically what it did was it took the highs, those really sparkly highs, and it smoothed out those spikes, those frequency spikes that hurt my ears so much. Um, and, but it still kept a lot, almost all the resolution there. It just helped smooth out those spikes as well as it kind of slowed stuff down a little bit. So it did open up the sound stage. Um, it did give the instruments and other things inside the music, electronic or otherwise, um, more space to breathe. It also did add some depth as well, not so much, but when it came to listening to on speakers, it did change the depth a little bit and it did open up the soundstage. So if you do, if you are a soundstage person and you love soundstage and more space and having that sense of being able to point out where the instruments are in a room, to add a little bit more of that, I would definitely switch out two of the op amps to those classic op amps. Um, and with that, it changed it to exactly how I like to listen to my music. Because when I do have the Vivids and how it would come to, come to you from the factory from Burson, um, again, with the ESS Sabre DAC 
little bit harsh, I couldn't listen to it very loud. I can listen to it and also for shorter periods of time. Once I put those in, I was able to crank it to like where I usually listen to, as well as I was able to sit down and listen to for longer periods of time. So changing those made this probably the perfect headphone deck amp pre out um, for me, especially at this price point because I haven't heard anything that's an all in one like this at this price point that does it all for me. Um, but with that as well, um, I'm going to put some stuff up on here um, over this on basically how to open this. Basically all it is is some, you take a, some small Allen wrenches, um, there's some uh, little Allen things on the bottom, uh, Allen screws, and screw those and then the top comes off. And then you just pull these guys out. And then when you are inserting them, I do show this on the video here. Um, I'll throw that up here and try to get it as close to where I'm speaking right now. Is on these op amps, there is a groove on the side and you have to make sure when you're putting them into these little inserts that are already in here, that they follow that, that groove as well. Cause on these it's flat on one side and there's a groove make sure the grooves match. Um, otherwise you'll blow up the op amps. Uh, and luckily I didn't have to go through that. You know who did it was Thomas. Thomas had to go through that, I think. Um, sorry, Thomas, kind of threw it in the bus. <laughs> um, but with that, uh, guys, I, this is still probably my favorite all-in-one. Probably will be for a while until I hear something else that's similar. Um, but it did also change, like I said, with speakers as well. It did do the same thing to the speakers that I was listening to as well as headphones. And the headphones I did test on, I did use my um, Sandaras, my, the Anandas I got in, as well as um, the Arias I got in. And it did help very much with all of those headphones. But like I said, guys, I do recommend if you if you if saber decks are a little bit harsh for you, and you want a really good all-in-one, and you want to pick this guy up, definitely switch out two of the op amps for op amps for those V6 Classic dual op amps, and you should be ready to go and listen to any music you want. But um, with that, guys, I will see you in the next video, and. Be prepared. I'm going to be pushing out one to two videos a week. I need to start getting through them and I hope you guys enjoy them. See you guys then. Later.